Hey, what's up guys, Steve here, and today we'll be looking at the 10 highest selling Michael Jordan cards from the inaugural 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball Card Set. Today's video will only cover the major set release here in the States, but if you're interested in another video looking at the most valuable internationally distributed cards from this set, let me know in the comment section below. And kicking today's list off at number 10 is this 1991 Stay in School, card number 22. You can pick up this card on eBay for between $1 and $3. A PSA 9 sells for only $11.50 on average, whereas a PSA 10 has a current average sell price of $37.10. And the record sell of this card comes in at $131.50. Graded 592 times by PSA, this Jordan is a pop of 191 in a PSA 10 and 216 in a PSA 9. Up next at number 9 is the Chicago Bulls Team Checklist, card number 75. Most of the eBay sales I was finding range between $1 and $4. You can pick up a PSA 9 for around $18, while a PSA 10 will set you back around $75 on average. And the record sell of this card comes back in June of 2021, selling for $172.50. Graded close to 3,000 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 724 in a PSA 10, compared to 2000 in a PSA 9. Coming in at number 8 is Jordan's All-Star card from Series 1, with card number 69. An ungraded copy of this card will set you back only a few bucks on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $15.72, while the average sale price of a PSA 10 is $68.37. And the record sale of this card comes back in May of 2021, selling for $185.50. Graded over 3,000 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 788 in a PSA 10 and just over 1,300 in a PSA 9. We get another Michael Jordan All-Star card at number 7, this time from Series 2, with card number 452. Raw sales on eBay range between $1 and $3. A PSA 9 will set you back around $20, while a PSA 10 sells for around $65 on average. And the record sell of this card comes back in April of 2021, selling for $244.83. Graded 1,473 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 591 in a PSA 10 and 532 in a PSA 9. Up next at number 6 is this All-Star Checklist card number 48. Ungraded, this card will set you back only a couple bucks on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $16.27 compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $70.41. And the record sell of this card comes back in May of 2021, selling for $283 even. Graded over 2300 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 441 in a PSA 10, compared to 1028 in a PSA 9. We get Michael Jordan's base card from Series 1 of the inaugural 1991 Upper Deck Basketball set to kick off the top 5, with card number 44. The raw sales on eBay I found range between $1 and $5. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $22.26, while a PSA 10 sells for $94.52 on average. And the record sell of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $460. With the largest population report on today's list, this Jordan has been graded 6,148 times and is a pop of 1,514 in a PSA 10 and 2,595 in a PSA 9.
we get our first Michael Jordan insert at number four with this award winner's hologram, card number AW4. I found ungraded sales of this hologram card on eBay, ranging as low as $1 and as high as $10. A PSA 9 will set you back a little less than $40, while a PSA 10 sells for more than 10 times that amount, with an average sale price of $434.50. And the record sale of this Jordan actually happened at a heritage auction back in December of last year, selling for $600 even. Graded 2,664 times, this Jordan hologram is a pop of 329 in a PSA 10, compared to 1,212 in a PSA 9. We get an all-time classic at number three, with this Magic vs. Jordan, card number 34. Taking a quick look at raw sale prices on eBay, the average sale price of a PSA 9 is $20.63, while a PSA 10 sells for close to $100 on average. And the record sale of this card comes back in February of 2021, selling for $1,025 even. Graded 3,253 times by PSA, this card is a pop of 881 in a PSA 10, and 1,345 in a PSA 9. We get Michael Jordan's other award winner hologram insert at number two with card number AW1. I've seen this Jordan sell for as little as $1 and as high as $10 on eBay. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $42.29 compared to a PSA 10 average sale price of $574.23. And the record sale of this Jordan hologram comes back in January of this year, selling for $1,127. The PSA population reports really show why there is such a big gap in the values, as a PSA 10 is a pop of 131, compared to 925 in a PSA 9, and even 929 in a PSA 8. Topping off today's list for the 10 highest selling Michael Jordan basketball cards from the 1991-92 Upper Deck Basketball Set is this 1991 promo card, card number one. With by far the smallest population report on today's list, this card has been graded 544 times, including a pop of 101 in a PSA 10 and 247 in a PSA 9. You won't find the same discount on an ungraded copy of this Jordan as the raw sales on eBay I found range between $30 and $60. The average sale price of a PSA 9 is $97.05, while a PSA 10 sells for $481.81 on average. And the record sale of this card comes in at $1,453 even. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.